It's a West Michigan story making national news tonight. We told you last night about it. A young man's wheelchair getting stuck in the grill of a semi-truck. The driver of that truck not knowing that he was pushing this man in his chair for nearly five miles and the panic that that was causing. Tonight, 24-hour news aide Joe Lefergy talks to the man who went on that wild ride. Oh, this one under, just when you think you've heard it all. I thought it was like... I kind of said it was like, kind of like a fair ride there. Muscular dystrophy put Ben Carpenter in this wheelchair eight years ago. He was on one of his twice-weekly outings, this time in Pawpaw. But as he crossed Red Arrow Highway in front of a semi, he didn't make the light. The truck driver apparently didn't see Ben. The truck moved forward, locking onto the wheelchair. Ben remembers the sound. Kind of like, you know, a train car's coming together or something like that. Unable to hear his cries for help over the hum of the diesel engine, the truck headed west on Red Arrow Highway. This camera view gives you some perspective on what Ben saw as the truck picked up speed. It was fast. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Faster than this chair's made to go. I mean, that's probably the only thing. I was probably thinking that he's going to keep going and not stop anywhere. He's going to go 50, 60 miles somewhere. And I mean, once I left the South Haven, I mean, I would have been dead this way before that. I don't remember feeling many bumps, though. I mean, that's really weird. I must have, but... The time was running out on Ben. The dark streaks on the roadway were marked left by the smoking tires on his wheelchair. Since they had gone any more miles, the tires would have been, I mean, gone all the way. I was thinking, I mean, the tires just kept going by. Nobody even bothered to stop. But they were calling 911. A semi truck just came by, and he does not know it, but he has a gentleman on the front of his truck that is in a wheelchair, and he's pushing him down the road. Back here live in uh, Pawpaw, we want to give you a little different perspective on all this, a uh, driver's perspective, if you will. We're standing next to Skylink, the 24 hour day satellite truck. Next to the cab, the cab is quite similar to the one uh, driven by that uh, truck driver in yesterday's incident. Now, photojournalist Ann Salas is calling up in the cab right now to give you a view from behind the wheel of this truck. Now, look at me, I'm about five foot eleven, and you can see me just fine from up front there behind the wheel, but watch what happens when I shrink down a couple of feet. This is about where that, that uh, wheelchair would have been. This is about uh, what the truck driver would have seen, which is nothing before he hit that wheelchair yesterday. Now, he checked it with the Ambulance County Prosecutor's Office. No charges expected in any of this. We're live in Paw Paw, Joe Lefergy, 24-hour news.